Hey everybody, yeah it's about um, 5.42 in the morning, I'm kind of up early, I don't have to work, it's, I kind of rested a little bit, I uh, just got up and haven't been able to get back to sleep for a little bit, but um, anyway I thought I'd do a review, you can see it down there, it is my review on Vixen the movie, that's right, Vixen the movie. Uh, this is supposedly supposed to take place in the Arrowverse, basically the CW uh, DC universe, uh, with involves Arrow, um, involves Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and I guess coming and Supergirl, and I guess coming soon Black Lightning. So, yeah, this actually takes place in between there. This is. Um, it's uh, fully animated, basically in the style of what you would see some of the uh, DC animated, uh, some of the DC original animated universe movies. Uh, it's definitely got a PG-13 rating on it, you could tell, but it doesn't say that it's rated. But you can kind of tell it's PG-13, maybe a little bit of R in there, I would say, but it's mostly PG-13, borderline R, if you will, but mostly PG-13. Uh, overall, this is actually a pretty good film. Um, yeah, it was um, basically presented online. I think it was on CW's online as a webisode. A web webisode. Uh, no, what am I trying to say? Um, it was presented, uh, I think, as ten minute, fifteen minute, uh, ten to fifteen minute webisodes. That's what they call them on the CW uh, app. And uh, what they did is they gathered them together and just decided, you know what, let's put them on DVD and Blu-ray, and that's what they did. And they did get the same uh, voice actors. Uh, they did get the same voice actors. I mean, they did get the same actors, I should say, from Stephen Armell and... Um, Let's see. Basically, they got the same cast uh, from the shows. You know, they got um, they got. Let's see. They got Stephen Amell. They got Grant Gustine. They got Emily Brent. Or Emily Bat Richards. They got Carlos Valdez. They got Victor Garber. Uh, they got Brandon Routh, they got Katie Cassidy, um, basically got, they got the same people uh, from the show to voice the, voice the same characters here on, in this uh, animated, in this animated, uh, I guess you could say feature since it goes about 75 minutes in this animated feature. So, um. It actually looks like it goes a little shorter, but maybe I was just checking the... It looked like it went a little shorter than that, but then again, I was checking the info and looking at the time and how long it was, and that kind of threw me off. But anyway, yeah, this is... Uh, it got all the same people. Uh, the woman that voices uh, Vixen... Uh, let's see... Magdalene... Yeah, uh, Mag basically Magdalene, I'm just going to call her, but I can't pronounce the last name. But the girl that, Magdalene, the, the girl that plays Vixen in the live action shows, uh, voices her here, and uh, I have to say it's pretty good. I have to say, like I say, the animation is done very similar to what you would see in the original, in most of the original DC animated universe movies. Um, and... I have to say that the story, I have to say that the connecting of each episode, of each, I guess you could say webisode now as a movie, works uh, terrifically. It's almost like, it's almost like you can't even tell that it was cut up as webisodes on the CW's app. Like, you can't tell that because it's so, it just flows gingerly right into each other. And... You know, I, I like I like the pacing of it. I like how it's an origin story, and it kind of explores. It's basically an origin story. It basically what it is, it's it's kind of like 
Vixen, it's kind of like their interpretation of Batman Year One, but it's kind of Vixen Year One. It starts with her origin, her starting to, you know, understand, develop and understand the powers that she has been granted, and then it just goes on to, and it goes from there, it goes into, it goes, it, it, it basically, like I said, it just, it's like the first half of it deals with her coming into her own, coming into, um, you know, coming into her own and learning about this gift that she's been given, these powers that she's been given. And, um, you know, you, and basically you spend each of the first, each moment of the first half along with her, you know, just along with uh, Vixen here, uh, just learning about, well, not Vixen, her name is uh, Myra, uh, Myra. You know, you spend time with her learning, you spend time learning along with her about her powers, about the gifts she's been given, and what she has to go through. And you find out that others are after these, you find out that there are others, some even close to Myra, uh, Myra, a uh, vixen, if you will, that want this power, if not power similar to it, because as you go throughout uh, the rest of the movie, or the webisodes, or however you want to look at it, uh, you find out that there is one, two, three, four, five other um, elements, five uh, other uh, talismans or jewels um, out there. There are five other, like I say, talismans, jewels, whatever, um, out there that are very similar. Well, basically, you find out that what Vixen has is just one of five uh, elements, five gems, if you will, that has the powers of different elements. You know, we find out there's um, other gems out there that have the elements of fire. Have one, this one with the element of water, earth, wind, and then you got the animal spirits. And that's what Vixen has. Vixen has the animal spirit, the uh, element the gem, the jewel of the spirit of the animals. So she can basically tap into any species ability and use it. And that's one thing about about the, about this is she, like I said, in the first half spends time developing her, develop, you know, learning on how to control this gift she has and how she can, and how she must allow maybe the instincts of the animal she adapts to take control so she can have a better chance a in a fight. So, uh, it, to me, the story is done very, to me they did a great job telling the story here and telling the origin, using the first half of this to set that up and then lead us into the second half, which is supposed to take a place a year later. And they do, like I say, they do a good job the follow-up is a year later, and we find out that there is more elements out there. As a matter of fact, uh, not to give much away if you've not seen Vixen, um, one of the people that she thought that she uh, kind of allies with at first uh, has made a deal in the first half of the film, or the in the first half of these webisodes, uh, has made a deal with uh, her sister, who also wants the same talisman, the same element that. A vixen has, and the only and the reason that this guy has made a deal with her, uh, with Vixen's sister, is so he can get funding for his archaeological uh, trip to his year-long archaeological trip uh, down to Africa, and we find out why he's going down to Africa, why he's going on this trip, and that's because he wants to find the other gems, the other talismans. Uh, elements that are similar to the one that Vixen has. So we find out that he's only able to find one, which is the talisman element of fire, and he pres he brings it back, presents it to the city of Detroit, saying it's going to be on display in a museum for indefinitely. But as we all know with these kind of stories, that's not always the case. It somewhat is towards the end, but not in the way it's meant to be. 
uh, because basically this element ends up getting stolen and possessed by uh, stolen and ended up in the hands of some guy posing as an ambassador of Africa but instead is actually a, a militant, a, a militant if you will that uh, gunned down uh, Vixen's village down in Africa, Vixen and her sister's village down in Africa and speaking of her sister, her sister plays a role because she's like the first antagonist she deals with because her sister wants to tell them her sister that Vixen has and she does get it temporarily but Vixen takes it back because apparently it's connected to her now basically she is, she has proven basically that she is worthy of this talisman and you get all these uh, spirits of other um, animals and even her, her parents and other f fellow villagers saying hey you know we are with you we are going to stand with you and that and I was just checking my t just checking the battery life there uh, but they basically you see these spirits just suddenly come to her like in a dream and it's enough to encourage her to take the fight go you know back to her you know to go to her sister and confront her fight her and take back the talisman but what happens like I said is her sister uh, in the second half of this plays a integral role integral role as well because uh, basically what happens is Vixen and the professor who she kind of doesn't trust still who kind of feels betrayed ba basically what happens is Vix Vixen and uh, the doctor I think his name is uh, Dr. Martin or something like that for some reason he's black in this one but he's white in the other I in the live action I don't know but anyway anyway besides that he, you know she goes back to Africa with him uh, to visit her sister and see what her sister knows about the guy that has this element her sister explains the backstory about who he is and what he's done and basically she agrees to go with them basically they need her to go with them to find another talisman and the other talisman they need is the talisman of water, the element of water, the, the gem of water. And so the sister, so the so her sister agrees to go with them. However, <laughs> both sisters obviously unknowingly know each other in a sense that Vixen's sister knows that she's gonna would have to take her along with her to the to the house to the mansion to where the the gem is the element is is because she want because she's weak what basically what happened is during the the fight between the two in the first half of the uh, uh, of this of the film her si you know vixen gives her sister a taste of her own medicine by injecting her with the poison of a spider either by placing said spider on her shoulder the same thing that she had done to vixen to gain access to to gain uh, possession of Vixen's talisman before Vixen took it back. But anyway, long story short, uh, Vixen's sister, uh, Vixen's sister basically um, uses her in a sense. Vixen, you know, kind of. But it seemed that what's funny is Vixen's sister uses her to get to the talisman so she can get her strength back. Not entirely, but just temporarily. But she's not strong enough of to avoid her sister, or even her sister's allies that come to her to come to her aid. Because apparently, like I was saying, Vixen pretty much was counting on the fact that her sister might betray her. Even though she, I guess, had to play along with the fact that she had to let her sister possess it. Because I guess her sister was the only one, uh, the only other available vessel to control the elements. So after that brief short-lived betrayal, scuffle, whatever, uh, Vixen and her sister come to a compromise. Vixen basically says, look, you want revenge? You'll get it. But help me save my village, my home, and at the same time save, you, save yours. Basically get revenge for what happened to yours. So we have this uh, battle with this guy that has the element of fire, the talisman of fire, 
and uh, Vixen and her sister and the Atom and Black Canary and the, the guy with the talisman is just wiping the floor with all of them and even you know it's like you say he's wiping the floor with all of them and even vaporizes the sister I'm not joking the sister confronts him Vixen tries to call her off and say hey look you're not strong enough right now to go straight at him at him you're only strong enough to help us or to help kind of weaken him but the sister isn't listening and he ends up basically vaporizing the sister into he just incinerates her uh, I guess you could say evaporates her in a sense because she's using water against fire and he just goes full force with the firepower on the sister and she just incinerates evaporates uh, into nothing he kills her so basically what I like there is even though the sister um, even though in the first half of this the sister kind of was willing to do whatever it took to get the talisman from Vixen she and even or even get a similar power later on in the second half here that she kind of came full circle like she kind of redeemed herself in the end like she kind of understood now where Vixen was coming from and thus sacrificed herself unexpectedly to try to avenge what this guy did so uh, long story short though I don't want to so long story short uh, basically Vixen has we find out that the only way this guy can be stopped is not only having the talisman taken away from him but Vixen basically has to break it she has to stomp on it so she summons all the animals that she can tap into uses all the strengths to stomp and break and shatter the uh, the element to where it's on display once again at the museum but in shattered pieces so um, overall I have to say that I hope we get more of these, especially for secondary characters like Vixen, because unfortunately, I don't know if maybe, again, unfortunately, I don't know if maybe DC didn't intend for her to have her own series maybe down the line, maybe be a permanent member of the Legends of Tomorrow. But apparently, if you look here on YouTube, there is a clip where Captain Cold ends up freezing Vixen and he ends up shattering her by touching her and she just shatters into a million pieces so yeah basically the character that gets introduced and given a good origin story here ends up getting killed I think in the Legends of Tomorrow by being frozen and then shattered so <laughs> good introduction good story to bring her into the Arrowverse of DC but uh, yeah, not a good way, but I think when people look at it, it's kind of a waste because even though you got good animation, good story and everything, it's basically wasted with the fact that she gets killed off in Legends of Tomorrow by being frozen, by being frozen solid and then shattered. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Overall, though, um, I definitely would recommend watching this. If you just want to put that to the side, like, act like that didn't happen, I do recommend watching Vixen. It's very good. It's very good, and that's really all I can say about it. So let me know what you guys think down below. So if I spoiled a little bit for you guys. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like, and I'm out.